T-minus 15 15. seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Liftoff on the shoulders of Atlas. The SS Deke Slayton II orbital ATK Cygnus spacecraft soars toward the International Space Station. The U.S. gun closes with control. HR roll program has begun. Body rates are good. Listening to Marty Malinowski. 180 pump speeds under pressure are banned for Santa Mar. Body rates continue to look powerful. Seconds into flight. The rate's climbing somewhat, it's controlling well. Already 180. Pump speeds and jerking pressures all look good. Gun flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. HR roll program is now complete. Body rate is controlling right down the middle. Currently accelerating at 1.6 G's. Standing by to pass through Mach 1. Mach 1. And approaching maximum Vehicle dynamic pressure. Rates continue to look good. Maximum dynamic pressure. Booster has now throttled back right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is and a half miles, downrange distance 5.2 miles, current velocity 1,876 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle making good progress right down the middle of the range. Pump speeds, injector pressures look good for the set throttle setting. Body rates continue to look good. Two minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Marty Malinowski giving us updates as the Atlas flies uphill toward the International Close Space Station. Stern has been enabled. Body rates continue to look very good. Q-Alpha limited steering has begun. The vehicle is now less than one half its liftoff weight. The RCS pyro valve has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 28 miles, downrange distance 38 miles, current velocity 4,285 miles per hour. Coming up on our 3.5G throttle segment. Three minutes into flight. And the booster has begun to throttle, 3.5Gs. Off one minute stern is complete. About 45 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Followed about six seconds later by the center Watch second stage now separation. One quarter, it's lift up. Coming up on our boost phase cooldown phase. And boost phase cooldown has begun. Signatures look good so far. Still throttling to maintain three and a half G's. Boost phase chill down is complete. And we have engine shutdown. Engine Switch shutdown as planned. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. The GN2 purge firing of the RCS is underway. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The Centaur single RL-10C engine has ignited to begin about a 13 and a half minute burn. 
that will take Cygnus into low Earth orbit, generating 22,900 pounds of thrust with the engine. Sent our thermal conditioning ferns of the RCS are on our way. TU has gone active. Current altitude is 124 miles, downrange distance 332 miles. Current velocity is 9,998 9, miles per hour. RL-10 chamber pressures, pump discharge and fuel injector all look good. He is controlling near nominal MR at this point. The payload fairing that covered Cygnus has been jettisoned as, jettisoned as scheduled. Quick check of the booster performance shows it is nominal at this uh, point in our review. Sent our body rates, controlling right down the middle. Six minutes into flight. Coming up on our dogleg maneuver. Centaurs now gun the dogleg. RL-10 continues to operate well. PU is controlling near nominal MR. Centaur dogleg maneuver is complete. Burn is planned for 802 seconds in duration. Coming up on the format change, data quality currently is all very good. And we have had the format change. Data has resumed. All signatures look good across the format change. Center has completed its role to optimize telemetry. RL-10 continues to perform well. Currently flying at an altitude of 194 miles, downrange distance 681 miles, current velocity 10,456 miles per hour. Seven minutes, 25 seconds into the mission of Cygnus to the International Space Station. Seeing our normal thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Line temperatures have warm near bottle temperatures on the RCS. Body rates continue to look good. Tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Bus and battery voltages are stable as well. Range track shows the vehicle continues to make good progress right down the middle of the corridor. Currently flying at an altitude of 213 miles, downrange distance 870 miles, current velocity 10,850 miles per hour. Pressures continue to look good. Storage bottle pressures do as well. Body rates controlling down the middle. And RL-10 performance looks nominal. Nine minutes after liftoff. Everything proceeding warm, normally. Centaur continues to perform well. RL-10 chamber pressures and pump discharge, good. MR near nominal. Body rates right down the middle. Approaching the head-on gate momentarily. And 
Centaur has achieved the head-on gate at this point in its trajectory. Picture perfect ascent so far, approaching 10 minutes into flight. An altitude of 226 miles, downrange distance 1,191 miles, current velocity 11,621 miles per hour. Now looking at real-time telemetry-driven animation showing the status of the Centaur with the Cygnus spacecraft. Centaur has switched to the antenna select mode. Link margins continue to look very good. RL-10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressure is right in band for the set MR. Body rates controlling down the middle. Tank pressures look good, plus some battery voltages do as well. 11 minutes into flight. Once again, you're listening to Marty Malinowski giving you ascent vehicle information. RCS thermal conditioning firings. The system is looking very stable thermally. MPU has requested an oxidizer rich condition at this point. Engine response looks good. Current altitude 221 miles, downrange distance 1,543 miles. Current velocity 12,545 miles per hour. Twelve minutes into the mission. PU continues to request a slightly rich, oxidizer rich condition. Engine response looks very good. DC, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all stable in expected bands. RCS line temperatures and bottle temperatures are stable. About another five and a half minutes left in this burn of the Centaur engine. Range track shows the vehicle still making good progress downrange. Current altitude 207 miles, downrange distance 1,898 miles. Current velocity 13,488 miles per hour. All Centaur systems continue to look very good at this point in the mission. Body rates controlling right down the middle. Engine operation is stable within expected parameters for the set MR. Thermal conditioning firings continue on the RCS and line temperatures look very good. About four more minutes remaining in the burn of the Centaur engine. We're 14 minutes, 23 seconds into flight. 